let us see about harmonic reduction methods in single phase inverter why we have to reduce the harmonics in inverter output because we want an sinusoidal output but normally a square wave inverter produces a non sinusoidal output which has lot of harmonics in it so this inverter output contains lower order harmonics which are dominant so it is difficult to filter the lower order harmonics if it is higher order harmonics we can easily filter out using a low size filter moreover harmonics causes additional losses and heating and torque pulsations in drives so there are different harmonic reduction methods we will see some of the methods so one of the uh, widely used method is selective harmonic elimination method or you can use transformers to reduce particular harmonics and you can also uh, get a stepped wave output from an inverter to reduce the harmonics the first method is selective harmonic elimination so in this method we can control the fundamental voltage as well as you can eliminate a particular harmonic say if i want to eliminate third harmonic or fifth harmonic or both third and fifth harmonic have to calculate the instant of turning on and off of the switch so that a particular harmonic can be eliminated from the inverter output first thing we have to remember that always make your inverter output voltage waveform have uh, satisfy the quarter phase symmetry so that you can easily eliminate the even harmonics so if you take this waveform you can see here uh, around pi this part and this part are symmetrical as well as if you take pi by 2 here this part and this part are symmetrical it means that in this waveform there are no even harmonics only odd harmonics will exist let us do the fourier series analysis for this voltage waveform so we know the expression and we know that uh, only bn term exist because it satisfies quarter wave symmetry and even numbers will become zero only odd harmonics exist so let us calculate what is this bn so bn formula is here so we can take the total time period as pi by 2 because waveform is symmetrical so you see this waveform you have different uh, 0 to alpha 1 you have plus vs alpha 2 alpha 1 to alpha 2 you have minus vs and here plus vs so you have to split this one so right 0 to alpha 1 we have vs alpha 1 to alpha 2 you have minus vs alpha 2 to pi by 2 you have plus vs so let us simplify this one so you will get a expression like this simplify this so now we got bn so if i want to eliminate third and fifth harmonic so find b3 so instead of n you substitute 3 you will get one equation and now i want to eliminate fifth harmonic also substitute 5 so you got two equations with two unknown variables alpha 1 and alpha 2 so alpha 1 value will lie between 90 degree and alpha 2 also lies between alpha 1 and 90 degree so with this condition you solve the equation it is difficult to solve manually you can have to apply some uh, computing methods or iteratively you have to do some calculations and you can find alpha 1 and alpha 2 so in that case you can get if you see the output you can see that 
third and fifth harmonic are eliminated from the output voltage. Now the same thing if you want to eliminate third, fifth and seventh harmonic your waveform should change that is you may need to uh, turn on and off more times to get the to eliminate the third, fifth and seventh harmonic. So the switching instant you have to calculate as the number of pulses increases your switching loss will also increase and it may be difficult to do the calculations. We will see the next method harmonic reduction by using transformer connection. So in this method you, you need more number of inverters. Uh, here two inverters are taken but you can take any number of inverters and each inverter output is connected to a transformer and the transformer secondaries are connected in series. Here the inverter all the inverters should produce the similar output that is a important condition and the output of one inverter will be phase shifted from the other inverter depending upon the phase shift your final resultant voltage will change so that the harmonic content will be reduced. So if you take inverter 1 the output voltage of inverter 1 is a normal square wave inverter, inverter output. If you take inverter 2 it should produce an output which is phase shifted from this inverter voltage. So you see here there is a phase shift of 60 degree here. So after 60 degree the same similar output is produced by inverter 2. So the waveform are similar but there is a phase shift between the two output waveforms. Now this is added here because two secondaries are connected in series so the net output voltage is summation of these two so you add these two you will get a output voltage like this okay so now this is similar to a single pulse modulation so we have already seen that in single pulse modulation we are able to reduce the harmonics so that is what we are trying to do here so if you say if you see the output voltage do the Fourier analysis so we know for this type of output 4 Vs by n pi is B naught 1 because we have already done the calculation in uh, inverters and uh, single pulse mo uh, pulse width modulation and everything we have done this calculation for Vs by n pi. So V naught 1 is equal to you simplify this sigma n equal to 1357 to infinity 4 Vs by n pi sin and omega t. So you, you expand this one this is the output of inverter 1. Now inverter 2 gives a phase shifted output. So what will be the output? V naught 2 is equal to the same equation but instead of omega t you have to omega t minus pi by 3 because phase shift is pi by 3. Simply replace omega t by omega t minus pi by 3. So you will get this equation. Now you have to find the resultant of these two. So add these two and find the resultant wave. So V01, V02, add it, you will get the resultant equation. So in this equation, you can find that there is a fundamental term here, that is n equal to 1 and 5 omega t is there, which is fifth harmonic and 7 omega t is there, seventh harmonic. But third harmonic gets eliminated. So when you add this, you can add and check this term gets cancelled or it becomes zero. So in if the phase shift is uh, 60 degree, your third harmonics will be eliminated. So depending upon your phase shift, you can eliminate a particular harmonic. 
but there are some limitations in this method the fundamental value decreases because of this phase shift and it needs more number of inverter and transformers so next method is harmonic reduction by stepped wave inverter so this is also similar to the previous method you need more number of inverter and more transformer but here the output of the inverter is slightly different so inverter 1 the output is connected to a transformer with the trans uh, transformer ratio of 1 is to 3 so you are getting 3 vss output okay here this is a transformer with 1 is to 1 ratio so output is only vs and minus vs so now you have to add these two because they are connected in series you can add it so if you add it you can see here it is 0 plus vs so you are getting vs as output so this is 3 vs minus vs will give you 2 vs again 3 vs and if you 3 vs plus this period if you add it you will get 4 vs so you are producing a output wave form such that it is like a stepped wave so this is called wave stepping method of uh, harmonic reduction but the problem with this method is you have to calculate the d1 d2 d3 d4 values exactly so that you can eliminate a particular harmonic so you can easily do the calculation because the waveform is symmetrical around pi by 2 and if you find you can eliminate the particular harmonics so there are different harmonic reduction methods the first one is a selective harmonic elimination where you have to mathematically calculate the exact instant of turn on and turn off the switches to reduce the or to eliminate the particular harmonic and you can use harmonic um, reduction or you can reduce the harmonic by using transformers uh, so in both these methods you need more number of inverters and transformers are required there are also different methods to reduce the harmonic which is not covered in this uh, video so if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you